Hi, I'm Ron Wartell. I'm a senior editor here with Investor Intel, and I'm talking with Dan from Nano One Materials. Dan is working in the lithium battery space. Their company has new technology, new ideas on improving the manufacture and the um, reliability of batteries. Can you talk more to that? Yeah, great. I, I certainly appreciate being here and being able to describe it. So we work on the process for making the cathode materials. That's one of the electrode materials that goes into the battery. And Certainly. it's comprised of lithium and nickel and manganese, or lithium iron and phosphorus, and then a whole bunch of additives and coatings. It's a very complex composite material. So yes. we have ways of improving the process for assembling all of those atoms into the right structures. Certainly. And then we, uh, we have developed uh, intellectual property and patents for the resulting materials that come out to improve the performance and durability and safety of the materials. Can you say just, you know, basically how your process is different than what the rest of us are doing? Yeah, so in the, in the industry right now, I'll give you a couple of different examples, but yes. we, we use different uh, raw material supplies coming in that helps us drive down the cost. We take the coating and the precursor steps and the lithiating steps and we put them all into one reactor, so we have one pot, it all goes into one and that cuts the number of steps and reduces the cost down, but it also allows us to form the right crystal structures very early and spend less time in the furnace. The result is a pure crystalline material um, uh, that performs better. So you're saying you're gonna make a premium cathode material, and hopefully that'll be uh, wanted in the market. Yes. I've heard that Tesla is looking at the, the million mile battery. Can you say how your, your process fits into that? Yeah, so Tesla, um, Tesla researcher Jeff Dawn at Dalhousie University did this fantastic paper showing that they could, you can actually push batteries out to kind of a million miles for a car. And, oh, and, uh, and the, most of their research is based on the electrolyte. That's the liquid that goes in the battery that uh, connect, connects the two electrodes. And they, um, but at the same time that they did that, they used, a, uh, they used a cathode material that was supplied from a Chinese manufacturer. Uh, that is what we call a single crystal technology. Very large particles that take forever to grow in a furnace. They're very expensive and they're actually not commercially viable. Uh, but they use that in combination with Jeff Don's uh, uh, novel electrolytes to prove out this kind of million mile battery theory. So happens we have uh, intellectual property and patents that, uh, that have a, uh, it's a much smaller uh, crystalline, nano crystalline coated uh, material uh, that's very much uh, akin to, uh, to what they were using, except ours is commercially viable. So we use a, we use a process that is uh, environmentally friendly, we have no waste stream, uh, we combine all of the coating and the crystallization and all of the preparation of the nickel, manganese and cobalt all into one step. Yes. So it's, uh, it's, there's fewer steps, there's less energy, there's less waste, and of course uh, it results in a longer lasting material uh, that could lead to a more durable battery. A more durable battery means that uh, you don't have to, you can charge it faster, you can be more aggressive on the charging, sure. and you can be more aggressive on the range on a day-by-day -day basis. That's really incredible. Yeah. Um, what is the next step for the company? Like, where are you? So listen, we this? we've got we've got really three different uh, streams of technology we're working on. The one I just described, this kind of single crystal NMC stuff. We also do single crystal technology in lithium iron phosphate, um, which would be used in electric buses or grid storage or or entry level vehicle type of applications. Yes. And interestingly enough, another sort of Tesla link there is Tesla a week and a half ago announced a deal with CATL. Uh, or at least there's an alleged deal with CATL in China to put lithium iron phosphate in their Model 3s. Um, and that actually speaks right into our book because we've been saying that LFP is, a, is going to play a fun, still play a very fundamental role in electric batteries. And, okay. uh, and Tesla's basically saying, yeah, we can put this in entry-level vehicles as well. We're working on the single crystal materials with, uh, with Volkswagen and a bunch of their peers in the space, although undisclosed right now. We, don't have, we can't really talk about them. Certainly, yeah. And then we're also working yeah, on a no cobalt uh, version of the material, which we've spoken about extensively on, on Investor Intel in the past, and that's, uh, that's primarily aimed towards next generation solid state batteries um, where, uh, where this material is very highly suited. It's very high voltage, it can only be used in those kinds of batteries, and, and ultimately it's got no cobalt and it's very fast charging. Uh, so we see that kind of in the five to ten year time frame. So those are really the three areas we're working on and, and uh, we're very excited about where the technology is going. That's, that's very good. That's great innovation. Thanks for telling us that today. Okay, great. Thank you. Appreciate being on here.